13 mistakes I wish I hadn't made as a beginner golfer. So let's just get straight into it. So the first mistake is I had a total lack of understanding about the golf swing, didn't have a clue about it. And all I thought is uh, I just, if I could swing it a bit faster then I could hit it 300 yards down the middle. I thought there was nothing wrong with my swing at all. That's not how the golf swing works in reality. The people who hit it 300 yards are basically elite athletes or very flexible or have played the game for a long, long time. And to improve the swing, you need to improve your fundamentals. So that's number two. I should have taken lessons earlier to check my fundamentals. So basically, you need to check your grip, alignment, takeaway and follow through. They're the kind of four main things. And uh, I think the grip is probably the most important. I'm not going to go into it in too much detail here, but if you're playing with very poor fundamentals, you're at a major disadvantage, just losing lots of distance, and uh, it's harder, much harder game. Uh, my fundamentals have improved slightly, that's why my swing's improved, but there's still a long way to go. I'm far from the finished product. And mistake number three is I had a lot of footwear problems when I was just first starting doing 18 holes. I uh, bought some cheaper golf shoes on Amazon, I didn't try them on and I was just wearing regular socks and for me uh, my feet were just getting destroyed, <laughs> I was getting blisters, I was getting, um, had some uh, bruised toenails, yeah it was just really really bad and luckily for me at the time I was doing a bit of hiking and bought some merino wool socks to do the hiking in and decided to use them on the golf course just to try it out and it's really really good. I haven't had one blister since. They've just basically been a magic bullet along with changing some foot joy shoes. I have spikeless ones and also some uh, traditional ones but yeah just the, the merino wool brown socks they, they've just saved the day. I've never had a blister with them. I've played loads and loads of golf like uh, over 100 rounds probably with <laughs> and I got another pair of merino wool ones which are green but the brown ones are much better and I've left the link of the name of the company. And here's the other pair of foot joys I've got, Traditions. And these are my main pair of shoes and I have no problems with them whatsoever. They're amazing. Um, very highly recommended. Just try them on in the store. Make sure you try them on before you get a pair. Just see if they fit your feet properly and definitely wear them in too. And the fourth mistake I made is I should have bought a trolley earlier. So this is the carrying a bag versus a trolley debate. And uh, yeah, I just wasn't a fan of carrying a bag at all. Here's the trolley I use. Just buy a decent one if you're in the market for a trolley. That's, that's what I can say about that. So carrying a bag, yeah, it was just compromising my rounds. Uh, it was too heavy, the bag. I was having to play a half set. I couldn't put multiple drinks in. I was even having to not put extra balls in because it was, uh, yeah, it was just too heavy. And it was wrecking my back by the end of the round. So. Once I got a trolley, all those problems went away and I was, uh, I was away, I was off and running. So the fifth mistake I made as a beginner golfer was over swinging at the driving range. So this is quite a common problem that I see, I see loads of people like every day and even people who are really good at golf do this. They're just like over swinging massively at the driving range and um, yeah, I had, a, I had a nasty habit of like the last 10 balls. I just start smashing them as hard as I could just to see if, how far I could hit them. And uh, yeah, it wasn't doing me any good at all. And it was actually getting me injured. I was in the, going to the car at the end of the, the session. I was thinking, what the heck did I do that for? Just hit those 10 balls. And they're going anywhere. They're going off to the left, massive slices to the right. Um, you know, just duffing them in front of you. Yeah, it's just a waste of time. So. Don't overswing at the driving range. Another mistake I made is I used the wrong balls over winter for my swing speed. So I've got a low swing speed, so that means I need to play low compression balls and end up playing these high compression balls, which is tricks and distance, just because they were cheap and what I was used to playing at the time, I didn't know any better. But yeah, just I really should have switched to these uh, Strix and Softfield and Inesis Soft 500. They're pretty good for me. They're working much, much better in cold temperatures. And uh, yeah, they're just much more forgiving. And they're definitely designed for lower swing speeds, which is what I had. And this, the, the Strix and Distance, they're just like hitting rocks like last winter. So it's a bit of a waste of time. So I've definitely made a mistake. 
So the number seven is I would made an equipment mistake. Yeah, I just got wrapped up in buying these clubs. I decided to buy matching five, four and three woods for some reason. The hybrids are going much better for me on the course than these woods. And I don't even have a, a fairway wood in my bag at the moment. So that's how much of a mistake it was buying those. So I think I'm going to sell a couple of them next year on eBay in the spring. And uh, yeah, so you've got like sets like hybrid or wedge sets. I think you only need one really and just try it out. And then if you do need the other one, then pick it up later. But buying like a full set of like fairway woods, I think it's not needed for, for beginner golfers that is. It's held on by a skin of its teeth, nearly in the water. <laughs> If you like this video, if you like this channel, then subscribe on behalf of this seagull struggling in the wind at Bangor Golf Club. <laughs> uh, mistake number eight is I played uh, with an injury a couple of times on the golf course and it wasn't a good idea, that's for sure. And uh, another couple of times I picked up injuries while I was playing and I just played through with the injury. I didn't, didn't take uh, get off the course. Uh, one time I pulled a muscle in my hip after I hit a shot and it was uh, quite early in the round and I didn't want to walk off the course and kind of lose the green fee so I just play carried on playing and uh, yeah it was hurting on certain shots and at the end of the round I think I'd caused even more damage than if I'd have just walked off the course straight away and kind of um, taken it easy so yeah just if you do hurt yourself in any way shape or form there's no shame in walking off the course and just uh, coming back, uh, recovering faster. Mistake number nine was, I probably should have played more par three or executive style courses when I was just starting, as these courses are really good for just learning the game. Uh, they're short, a lot of them nine hole courses, just get around in like 90 minutes or two hours. A lot of them have no dress code, such as this one. And uh, yeah, they're just a really fun way to play. And also, I didn't have the length, so playing for like 400 yard par fours was a disaster because I could only hit it like 130 yards with a driver. So yeah, I should have played more par three courses. The next one is I put too much pressure on myself with scoring a lot of the time. And uh, yeah, I was just trying to break 100, trying to break 90, trying to break 85. And uh, yeah, one time I was filming around and trying to break 90. I didn't make a par in the first seven holes. And I was just like totally disgusted with myself. <laughs> I just stopped filming. And uh, yeah, I was just playing with too much expectation. I thought I was going to break 90 every single time I teed it up. Yeah, and it kind of took away the, f the fun out of the game a bit. So yeah, I tried not to play with too much expectation. What were the main mistakes you made as a beginner golfer? Leave a comment down below if this list is different to what completely different to what you you did, and also I might do a second video on this as I've got another thirteen already. I made made everyone makes tons of mistakes when they first start golf. The next mistake I made is I my lessons I took with a golf coach was ninety minutes away from where I lived, so this wasn't convenient at all, and they were really popular as well. They're well known. So it was a nightmare trying to get a lesson. It was like booked up three and a half weeks in advance sometimes or two and a half weeks. And the only lessons that are available are like kind of eight o'clock on a Friday or a Saturday night or really early in the morning sometimes. The lessons were okay. I, I like the teacher, everything that they taught me was good. But it was just kind of a thing where, yeah, it just wasn't going to work out long term. I should have looked for a, a golf coach more local to me. And I should have put more effort into trying to find a coach local to me that I get on with and it also would have saved me some money as well. So the twelfth mistake that I wish I didn't make was all about etiquette in golf. So there's loads and loads of rules about um, golf clubs. There's loads of things such as no hats in the clubhouse, no golf shoes in the restaurant, you've got to be on the first tee 15 minutes before your start time loads and loads of stuff like that and uh, yeah it's really hard if you're a beginner golfer if you don't have someone to guide you through all that you make these mistakes um, such as putting a stand bag on a tee box and you get you get really like uh, scolded by the members for doing things like that and they kind of take take joy in, in having a go at the visitors <laughs> so it's um yeah it's just about a lack of awareness but then um, there's not many uh, resources to that tell you all this stuff as a beginner golfer. So you just have to kind of make it up 
and uh, by trial and error. And unfortunately, when you make an error, you get uh, you get a lot of hassle. <laughs> so the final mistake I made, I wish I didn't make as a beginner golfer, is I was thinking about handicaps a lot when I started, as you get asked, oh, what's your handicap? What's your handicap if you ever say you're a golfer? So I was trying to work out my handicap, but as I was just like so new at golf, I was shooting like 120 on the golf course and losing six balls around. And I was trying to work out the, what my handicap was. And it wasn't even like 27, it was like over, it was like 45 or something like that. And I was just thinking, oh, this is so hard, this game. It's like, it seems impossible to ever even break 100. It's just like insane. And how are these people hitting it 200 yards when I can only hit it like 130, 140? So yeah, I was just thinking about handicaps too much at the start and should have just got out there and played, maybe not even scored. As I used to track my putting stats uh, religiously and also I used to track, track my lost ball st stats religiously. And the first round I ever had without a lost ball, it was just like the, the best moment ever. I thought I'd made it as a golfer, but yeah, I was just taking it too seriously with the, the handicaps, trying to work out and compare myself to others. Uh, and overall, I think it took the fun out of the game a bit for me. And maybe I would have quit if I hadn't have had, for example, that round where I didn't lose a ball. And uh, yeah, a couple of things could have happened, but I'm glad I didn't quit. And I'm really enjoying my rounds at the moment. And uh, yeah, so these are the 13 uh, biggest mistakes I made as a beginner golfer. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making this one. And see you on the next one. Signing off.